Welcome back everybody and thank you for tuning into this week's video. Today we will be taking a look at some super cool pieces we received from Digging Appalachia. So, like I said a few seconds ago, we are going to be taking a look at some awesome pieces we just received from Digging Appalachia. I know I'm kind of late to the party. There's a few YouTubers I know have already covered his boxes. One of those being Rooted Rock Hounding. He did a live opening of that box, but I figured you guys wouldn't want to watch me struggle through the package for about 10-15 minutes. So, we're not doing a live, but we will be taking a really close look at some of these awesome pieces. Because although I've already covered Graves Mountain material in a previous video, the pieces we have with us today do have some different characteristics. And we even have a crystal point this time as well. And we do have a nice clam fossil that doesn't look like much from here, but trust me, once we get this thing closer to the camera, it looks pretty incredible too. So, without further ado, let's just jump right into it. So, here's the first piece that we'll be taking a look at today. And as you can see, it looks incredible. Now, it just so happens that this piece also exhibits a lot of the characteristics of the material at Graves Mountain. And that is... First off, the iridescence, which is the multicolor you're seeing here. The green, the blues, the reds, and even some purples. But as far as the structure of this piece is concerned, the small needle-like structures you are seeing are known as stalactite formations, while those little circles you see on the surface, or more so on this side, is known as botryoidal hematite. So that's pretty neat right there. That's basically all the general information on these pieces. What we're going to do now is just take a nice look at the rest of them. And if there's any other unique characteristics along with that rock, I'll go ahead and talk about them. But we'll just get into that at a later date. For right now, Let's just jump into our next piece and see what we have going on. So here's the second piece we'll be looking at today. And one of my favorite features outside of the so-called key features on this piece is the fact that the rock itself looks super sparkly. You don't quite get the same effect with the naked eye, but under the flashlight here in the camera, it definitely gives off a shimmer, which is really cool. So as we take a look at the surrounding area of our stalactites, you'll notice we have small quartz crystals, which is pretty neat. We'll come across a few more of those in some other pieces later on in today's video. But then just look at some of the awesome color we get here. I mean, that's crazy. That copper color has to be my favorite. Super shiny on this back side. Here's a good look at that botryoidal hematite without the iridescence. You can see it's just pretty much a black slash gray color, but it still looks really neat like that. Some more crystal quartz embedded in there. And here we have a big chunk of quartz, but on the other side of that, we just have some really awesome stalactites. I like that mustard yellow, or maybe it's an orange. I'm not quite sure what color that would be considered. But either way, it's super cool. And then as we move on to our third piece here, it's more of the same with the exception of we have a nice iron red color in this rock. 
It's just super vibrant and it stands out against the black hematite. So that's super neat. Oh, look at that. A little bit of iridescence right in the middle. That's funny. This has to be my favorite side and piece color-wise. I mean, just look at the crazy copper color here. How can you not fall in love with that? So as we put down the iridescent material from Graves Mountain for a minute, I wanted to take a closer look at this clam fossil that he also sent to me. Now, he didn't tell me where this piece came from exactly, but I do know I wanted to take a closer look at it because this thing looks super cool close up and we even have a few special features on it as well. You'll see that we have some awesome beakite crystals on the surface of this fossil. And they're easily identifiable by their rose-like shape. I've always been kind of fascinated by these since I first found out what they were. Just because you don't see them at first. And then as you take a closer look, it reveals so much detail. It kind of just blows my mind. But then as we zoom back out... You'll see that the hinge of the clam would be right about here, and then it tracks this way. So if you're looking at it from the front, you would need to actually look at it like this. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed looking at this fossil, but let's get back to our iridescent material. As we move on to our next piece here, you'll notice pretty quick that we actually have a crystal point covered in this hematite which is super cool looking because it's also a tad bit botryoidal which makes it look like alligator skin and then I just realized under this light it looks like we have a little bit of iridescence see how it almost looks purple that's super neat Here's a better look at the crystal. And then that one too. You can't really see in the crystal all that well, but you can tell how it kind of forms that outer layer with the hematite. Which is super neat. So as we move on to our last piece here, this probably has to be my favorite one color wise. You'll see on this face alone, we have a nice copper color and it doesn't show up on camera, but it is super shiny. I mean, this thing, it probably blind you in direct sunlight. And then of course, throughout the rock itself, we do have some quartz going through it which is super neat and then we have some iridescence and 
And I mean, look at the way that hematite shimmers. It almost looks like liquid metal. Look at this side. I mean, that iridescence is absolutely insane. It's hard to believe that this occurs naturally in the ground. I mean, I haven't seen color like this with the exception of peacock ore, which is treated charcoal pyrite. But this is all natural. Let's get closer to that. Look at that. I could just stare at that for a while. So, that about does it for today's video. But more importantly, I wanted to give Digging Appalachia another huge shout out for sending this package our way. And if you haven't checked out his channel yet, be sure to head over there and subscribe to stay up to date on all the stuff he's doing. Because he finds some really awesome stuff like this. But until next time, stay safe and rock on.